Morning. Hello, everybody. We've got a couple of matches to update you on, haven't we, Matt? Certainly have. Let's start with the Natural Baits League at Lindome on Saturday. Well, you was in a very strong position. You were in a very strong position. No, I wasn't. I did terrible the time before, remember? But you won the match this time. I did. I did. I drew a good peg, though. Peg nine on Willows. Um, I had a lovely day, mate. I caught all my fish down the edge, which were really interesting. I had, let me bring this whip in, because I've been rude. We're at Boddington Reservoir fishing with a whip. I'm going to bring him in so I can talk to you. Whee! Whoa, oh. nearly knocked me out, lad. <laughs> um, on. Peg, peg nine on Willows. Really interesting match, to be yes. fair. Never got a bite out in open water. Right. Um, so I started fishing down the edge towards the reeds. Um, I started at seven sections down there, we just tapping a few maggots in, loose feeding a few maggots. Um, and it got better and better, and I followed the fish along and finished off fishing 16 metres. Light little float, maggots on the hook. Um, it was really nice. Got two or three big perches, like, like this big. Four um, pound. Five pound. Five pound. Five pound perch. I caught a golden tech. I got a picture of him and sent it to all Barnsley lads middle at match. Nice. Um, and that were it. Ended up with £43 something. Won the match, won the section to get me back in the race with the league. Need a win this weekend. Very strong position you're in there. Strong, though. dominant, masculine position. <laughs> but you had a not so bad match yourself. Kept yourself in lovely, it. Lovely match, yes. Um, I drew peg 60 on Bonsai. Ah. I fished two lines. One... Whoa, unsettled me like that on a mid flow. One, um, where I potted him with a bit of fish meal ground bait and fished some maggots over the top. Ah, uh, yeah. And yeah. another where I loose fed maggots with the aim of catching a few roach, a few perch, and maybe, maybe a few F1s later. As it turned out, caught a tench first put in on my fish meal ground bait line. Yeah. Normal tench, so not, not, not a golden one. You've got to be good to catch golden one. And then I caught a few skimmers on my left-hand line as well, but the right-hand line never really got going. Didn't get going? No, so with an hour to go, I started a new line-up to my right, even further away with fish meal ground bait again, and caught a few more skimmers. But I came off the bank thinking to myself, I wish I'd just fished three lines with fish meal ground bait and maggots, or, or pinkies. But I suppose that's the benefit of hindsight. You, you just missed out, didn't you? James Dent won the section for £25. Awesome performance for him. Yeah. Lee Wright on the next peg to me, who's fast becoming my nemesis angler. Is he? He was second in the section with £14.10. Oh! And I had £14.05. Oh, that wasn't very nice, that. To say he's no. your teammate. To say he's your teammate, nice. uncalled for. But fortunately, that third was actually a good result on the day because everyone above me in the league blew out. Yeah. So I am, I'm now second in the, in the league. Yeah. I'm um, going into the last round. So right. I'm looking forward to that. Very good, very good. Now, Sunday. Sunday, ah yes. This Sunday. is a match you're going to very much enjoy talking I about, isn't it? I am going to enjoy talking about this. Because? Because? We drew next pegs to each other. We did. It was frozen out, but it was. Which we wasn't happy about. Not happy. Um, and I was particularly unhappy. Hate it, hate ice! You don't like fishing in the ice, do you? I'd rather not fish. Uh, I'd rather not. Carry yes, on. Yeah. That's never it. mind, never no, mind. No, no. And to be fair, there's, there's only one way I can put this, to be honest. I got absolutely battered. Both sides. Ian Leach, one side, £17, second on the match. Five very large Brazims. Awesome performance as well, by the way. Fantastic performance by Ian. Um, and then the other side, Tom Scully, £7, 4 ounces. A section winning, what's that? Uh, default a section sec winning this performance. Did you don't have to say the default bit. I won't totally mention it, I won't mention it. Totally uh, honestly, I'd never mention it. I'd never mention the default section. Well, that's very constant. Very, it, uh, it was significantly more than I had, because my £6.8 was enough to win a little bit less than nothing. Don't worry about it, I gave you half my, my winnings, didn't I? Oh, no, you well. didn't actually, you gave well, me a well. quarter. I will do. Oh yeah, oh, yeah you owe me some money actually, don't you? Yeah, owe some money, yeah. Oh, yes! That's made me happy. But I didn't have a very good match, mate. I didn't enjoy it because I made a few mistakes. I When, when you started catching bream and Ian started catching bream, I thought, I need to catch some bream. And really, if I'd have just fished bloodworm all day, I'd have caught 10 or 12 pounds and might have framed. Can I ask you a question? What? You needed to catch bream. Yeah. Very, very good bream, I no. You are. I didn't catch one, I'm not. You did catch one, a little one. It was a skimmer, but that big. Tell them how you caught yours. You had a good day, you battered me. It's more not, interesting. Not really, not really a good day, to be honest. Um, no, bad day. I, 
the pegs we were on, 169 and 170, if, you, if I could have chosen two pegs in the morning, what I thought would frame in the match, I would have probably picked my peg first and then your peg. So yeah. when I do it, I was over the moon. It was actually left in the bag for me, last peg. It was, wasn't it, yeah. Um, and then I got to the peg and sort of froze and I was gutted. I thought, well, Bream, I'm oh. feeding this. I thought, I don't want to ship, compete with this lad shipping roach back every joke because that's not going to happen. There's not many bonus fish there in terms of roach or casters and no. things. No, hybrids, stuff like that. I'm going to throw another happen? ball in. I'm going to throw another ball Beautiful. One. So, you know, I wasn't best pleased. Um, as it turned out, um, I started off catching a few perch by the net, but I think I had eight and you had 22 or something in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, which is good if it were a bloodworm, man. Well, I was getting not a green man. A little bit of a pasted on the perch. And then I went on my joke line and started catching some quality roach, and I thought, this is okay. You couldn't catch any roach, could you? No. Nope. It's just strange, isn't it? It's probably bream in my pack. And that's what you thought it was, isn't mm -hmm. it? And then. Um, obviously, I've seen Ian catching. He's green. Then uh, Steve Barrett up to my left caught one four pound. Then he's lost another one. I'm thinking, probably some bream on the feed despite the ice. So I went on a line I'd fed more positively for the bream and had a little skimmer. But I knew that then I had to commit to that because it was obviously going to be a bream or nothing day. Yeah. Unfortunately, with about an hour and a half to go, it slid away and I had a large bream. Brazen! Probably four pound. Lovely. Five Happy days. Pound. It was not five. It was It was about three pound, I think. It was a nice fish, anyway. Three pound fish. I had two more skimmers and a few more little roach, and as I said, won the section by default with seven pound four. Anyway, big well done to the match winner, our mate Adam Dow. Awesome performance. Fantastic. Eighteen pounds fourteen ounces. Very good. Five a large bream. Very large bream. That's the biggest bream I've seen out of Stainer. He's way, honestly, I've never seen bream that big of you. No, they're massive. And Ian Leach's were big. He had, he had five for £17, didn't he? Yeah. Um, so well, he was second, and Brian Hawkes, our mate, was third. So And Johnny Freeborn, fourth. And go on, who were fifth? Um, who were fifth? Nathan Hughes. Nathan Hughes were fifth, and Lee Key Kerry. Larry. Was, well done, Lee Kerry. So well done to all of you. Look at our little friend I've got down here. Come on. Hello. He's feeding him maggots. So there you have it, folks. That's our latest block. Can I show that? Go on. I think his poo will be uh, orange because he's eating bronze maggots. His hair might go orange, mate. How might about be that? joining the Guru Ginger team, mine. Yeah, nicking that hat off you. Oh, oh. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's our little update, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this weekend we've got the Lindome Natural Baits League on Saturday. Final round. And you're going to a castle tour on Sunday, aren't you? No, no, I'm not to castle tour. I'm, I'm starting a new job on Monday, so I'm having a relaxation day. Oh, well, that sounds yeah. awesome. Nice, I've it? got a massage book with uh, Nina and Tina. Oh, Nina. Tina. Nina and Katka. Katka. Oh, oh yes. That is, that's, that's the end of the vlog, huh? Very much, yeah. Okay. Until next week, goodbye.